Hey guys, I'm back. Um, here's the uh, gearbox overview video as promised. Uh, as I mentioned in another video, uh, I did one a while back with some annotations uh, to help point things out a little bit better. I'm just going to go over it real quick, just mainly the, the domain assemblies. Uh, I'm going to hop back and forth between uh, 7 and 8 to try to show this just to make it easier to show the stuff that's on, on the one side of the gearbox as opposed to the other. This way I don't have to climb all over the machine and have the camera shaking all over the place. So uh, let's get going. Uh, well, this this big metal part goes all the way forward and everything hooks to that. That's the main gearbox housing. Um, as I've mentioned before, these are really old, so you really don't have a problem with them. There have been problems with some of the newer ones that I've heard. Uh, where are the housings would crack crack around uh, the rear area here where the scotch yoke would attach. We don't have them because these are converted machines. We have the lowering links, but I'll show you that. Um, also right here, this is your cycle solenoid. This is an A2 style. Um, these are full A2 converted machines. They're fully converted. Uh, the original A solenoid was up by the detector here. I believe it hooked it bolted into these two posts it's either I believe it was the front two I'm not exactly sure I haven't seen one in a while uh, but that's where the original solenoid was uh, anyway apologize for the darkness all my flashlights are absolutely dead so uh, it might be a little bit dark but I'll do my best for you uh, this is the four to one assembly back here you've got your crank arm for the the sweep link that runs forward uh, also, I'm going to show you, I didn't point out the cams in all the other different videos. Uh, this I've shown before, this is the rig right cam here. The rig right cam follower up there, which attaches to this, where the shotgun also attaches. Uh, this outer cam here, this is the uh, this is the old 90 over travel cam. If you can notice, uh, their cams are actually identical, except for this part right here. This protrudes out, and it protrudes out 90 degrees, which is what kept the rake up and allowed the machine to over-travel to 90. Uh, the hook would stay down to uh, to hold the deck in place, but the machine actually used to stop at 90 degrees on second ball. Uh, that also, <clears throat> with the conversion, was eliminated here. These all stop at zero on first ball and second ball, which is good. It's uh, It's a lot safer. Because I've seen a center that still has 90 over travel where the decks come crashing down, and it's not a pretty sight. Uh, I'm just going to hop over to this side real fast, show you guys the 2 to 1 assembly moving up and forward. Uh, there's all the clutch parts back here also, which I should have mentioned. Uh, your clutch lever and the stop, you can see how it's sitting on top of that stop. That means the clutch is disengaged. Anytime that lever is down and the stop is behind it, the clutch is engaged. Uh, this is the 2 to 1 assembly right here. You have your eccentric ring. Uh, like I mentioned, this is the lowering link, which hooks to a pin on the deck lift shaft. Uh, the newer machines have the the Scotch yokes. They really they look really cool when they run. They uh, they run. The cycle time is identical, but they go down and up a little bit faster. But they slow way down at about 270 degrees, it's, and it uh, it allows them to set a really nice solid rack, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is uh, your detector here. I'm not going to go into all the different shafts in this. There's a ton of cams and everything else. I think there's five shafts, A through E. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about them, so I'm not going to try to discuss things that I really don't know that much about. Uh, you can see the right cam from the other side here with the right cam follower on that bracket that the shotgun bolts to. Uh, that's the right cam, the over-travel cam on the outside of it. Uh, this right here, I've shown before, that's your scissor cam follower. Your scissor cam is down in there. I'll try to get that from the other side. This is the back of it right here. Oh, I'm going to hop back over to the other side. This is uh, your one-to-one -one assembly up here. Which I didn't really, you can't really see too, too much of it because there's so much stuff that's attached to it. But this main shaft that the, the right cam bolts to and everything. That is that. Uh, also, your your scissor cam is also your moving deck cam. Uh, there's a roller on it. Another cam all the way at the bottom. I don't know if I'll be able to even show it to you. Uh, if, let's 
see here. Uh, get my f stupid finger out of the way. Right down in there at the bottom. I don't know, maybe from the front would be a little bit better, but it's a really bad spot. It's pretty much diagonal of the other one, the scissor cam follower. Uh, can't really see it this way either, but it's down underneath there. And uh, when the scissors are blocked out, it allows the moving deck to follow the contour of that cam, controlling the cables and whatnot. Allows the deck to shift. You can see back here where all these, all these little bumps are. That's what allows the deck to shift back and then shift a little far, farther back to let go of the pins. Uh, if I can, I'll try to do another video on that. It's, I can see it, but I know it's dark and uh, it's right down there, but probably not going to be able to see it. It looks just like this one, just a, just a regular camp follower, but it's on the under, the underside of it. And uh, it's pretty much it. Uh, you got your deck lowering hook here. I've shown that before. Um, and just uh, your detector parts here, and the link that runs to this stationary shaft that controls the hook, the raising and lowering of that. Uh, that's pretty much it, just as a simple overview of it. Uh, of course, there's a lot more to it than that. But uh, hopefully that answers some of your questions. Uh, the 4 to 1 obviously controls the uh, the rake sweeping. This just runs forward and rearward four times a cycle. Uh, the 2 to 1 is for your deck. As your deck runs twice each cycle, up and down. And your 1 to 1 is for all the other stuff, like your rake cam that only turns once a cycle. Uh, scissor cam, that kind of stuff. Uh, the 1 to 1 is really not anything you can see all that well. You can kind of see the plate back there for it, but there's just so much stuff on the one-to-one. -one. That's why it's such a big job to change one, because there's so much stuff on it. Uh, hopefully you enjoy that. That answers your questions. Uh, if there's anything else that you'd like me to go into a little more detail about, I'll be glad to do so. Uh, as always, thank you for your support, for clicking like, subscribing, leaving comments, private messages, everything. I appreciate it. And uh, as always, if there's anything you'd like to see, any questions, comments, whatever, just hit me up. Leave me a private message, video comment, channel comment, whatever. I will get it, and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, guys. Almost uh, time to get the lanes going here. I'm going to go oil, get ready for league, and uh, this should be up uh, probably in the wee hours of the morning. All right, guys. Thank you again for everything.